Well, hello there, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Cassie. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. So, Carl, how are you doing today? Not doing too bad. I have a lot on my mind today. Really? What do you mean? Hmm. I don't know if you know this about me, Cassie, but I am an intellectual. Intel intellectual. An intellectual? Really? I am a person of vast intelligence. My brain is so big that it's puzzled. Multiple doctors. Hundreds, actually. Hundreds. I'm sure it has. So I was sitting at home with my enormous brain, and I wrote down some questions I think we should discuss and ponder over. Converse, if you will. Do you really feel like this is the best use of our time? Too late! The copyright-free classical music is already playing in the background. How much deeper would the ocean be if sponges didn't live in there? Why doesn't glue stick to the inside of the bottle? Why do we drive on parkways? And park? On driveways. If a cow laughed, would milk come out of its nose? Why do skydivers wear helmets? Why does your nose run and your feet smell? Why don't your lips touch when you say the word touch, but they touch when you say the word separate? Wow, that was... Remarkable, life-changing, thought-provoking, I was going to say interesting, but sure. I get it, Cassie. You're jealous of my ginormous brain and the questions it has created. I don't know if that's true. Besides, those were good questions, but kind of silly. Silly? Yeah, did you have any more? Well, sure, but mm, I don't know about them. Can I look? Uh, sure, I guess. What's my purpose? What does it mean to live a good life? How can I learn to forgive? Wow, Carl, these are really good questions. You think? Of course, I think these are questions you should be asking God. Wait, I can ask God questions? Of course, have you never done that? I don't think I have. Well, let me tell you this, God would love to hear you ask those questions. Really? Yeah, and you never know. They might be answered in really cool ways, like Nehemiah. Nehemiah what? Nehemiah, from the Old Testament. Oh, Nehemiah. I remember that story, but for the people watching who don't, um, how do you say, remember the story, how about you give like a brief recap for them, <laughs> not for me, because I know it. Okay, Carl, well, a long time ago, there was a king, and the cupbearer of the king was named Nehemiah, and the walls of Nehemiah's hometown, Jerusalem, were broken down. They were in shambles. What? That's awful. I mean, I knew that already. It really was. Now, Nehemiah cared about his hometown so much that he prayed to God that he could return and help build the wall back. Now, that's a big question. Not only did he have to be the cupbearer to the king, but building a wall would be like a ton of work. It would, but it meant a lot to Nehemiah, so he knew that he had to ask God about it. Once Nehemiah was around the king, the king knew something was wrong and knew that Nehemiah wanted to ask him something. So the king asked Nehemiah what was on his mind. Did he tell the king about his desires to go back to Jerusalem? He did, but first he prayed to God about it. It was important to him that he asked God first, and then he asked the king. Wow, that's pretty cool. It was. It was even cooler that the king said yes. He was going to let Nehemiah go back and help build the wall. No way! That's great! Well, because he just asked the question. Yep, but it only worked out because Nehemiah asked God the question first. So God was actually with Nehemiah when he asked the king. Well, I guess that answers one of my questions. Which one was that? Well, I've been wondering how I'm going to get answers to all my questions. And I never thought about asking God, but I will now. That's great to hear, Carl. I'm glad you know now that we can ask God our questions. Well, hot dog! That's our big idea! 
today's big idea is we can ask God our questions. That's right. And on the count of three, let's all say it together. One, two, three. We, we can, can ask God, God our questions. questions. We can. God will answer. In one way or another. <laughs> right? Yes. So what are you going to do with that big list of questions, Carl? Well, I'm going to keep them, and I'm going to ask God the questions. Hopefully I can get some answers. I bet you will. Maybe to even some of those silly ones. Well, there you go again. There's nothing silly about this question. What cheese is the moon made out of? Oh, I thought you already knew. The moon is made out of mozzarella. Wait, what? Bye, everyone. We can eat the moon. It's made out of cheese. <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV.